Welcome back. Many businesses are already affected by the coronavirus scare. And more are expected to be impacted. KITV4's Diana Ko talked to the Chamber of Commerce Hawaii to see what guidance it's offering to companies. Fears of coronavirus are definitely impacting the business community here locally. I'm with the Chamber of Commerce Hawaii's Sherry Minor McNamara to talk about uh, how businesses can better prepare. Hi, Sherry. Hi. So what is the local business reaction to the coronavirus scare? Well, there's certainly um, this uncertainty and this uh, not knowing what the impact would be as we hear about what's going on around the world. The Chamber, uh, we want our businesses to be prepared and take preventative measures to mitigate the impact that it will have on the business as well as you know on our economy as a whole. You have uh, just over 2,000 member companies, many of them small businesses, and many of them looking to you for some guidance on what to do. So besides uh, the general advice on hand sanitizing or sanitizing your counter space, what are you telling them in terms of finances? Yeah, so like you mentioned, we want to make sure they create a, a safe working environment and having the preventive measures in place, but also looking at their business plan and determining what areas of their business will be impacted uh, from this, from coronavirus, uh, and, and from looking at their employment policies as well, looking at their HR handbook, what's allowed, what's not, and is there a way to adjust the handbook so that they can uh, be prepared for the potential impact that this will have. Right, because in addition to impacting possibly the supply chain of goods coming from Asia, there's employees calling in sick, right? Right, absenteeism. And so for those who are not at work, how can we ensure that what their duties and responsibilities were can continue to be filled? So these are questions that businesses need to start thinking about, uh, and we hope that the Chamber can play a role in that. We've just posted on our website various resources, a toolkit, uh, for employers to review uh, and stay up to date as to what's going on out there, but also what they need to do to prepare for this uh, impact. Yeah, and what about the short and long-term impact to our economy? Right, you know, we're still determining what that will be. Uh, as you've heard, that there is some cancellations as it, re as it relates to conferences, festivals, uh, trips. And so, you know, what is the trickling, trickling impact? And so, collectively, we need to get together uh, with government and different stakeholders, and the legislature is putting together a com committee to see how we can mitigate the economic impact, uh, as well as how we can address what the impact will be and how we can move forward. Okay, good advice. Sherry Minor McNamara from the Hawaii Chamber of Commerce, thank you so much for talking to us. So you heard it from her. She said, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. And you don't even have to be a member to check out the Chamber of Commerce Hawaii website with the latest up-to-date information on COVID-19 and uh, advice on how, in particular, it could impact local businesses. We are in Waikiki. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News.